To use the hotel log system, first you need to install and run the software inside the Windows uh, computer. First, download the software. Go to my website www.ospon.com And now go to the bottom look at the customer spot download and now go to the bottom I find the hotel log software user menu ok download this software now it's downloading the download is finished let's install the software we install it in the disk D don't install it in the C disk because it's very easy to broke and now it's installed successfully so before you open it you must make sure you connect the card reader uh, to the computer already this is a picture of the card reader so this is a USB you connect the USB to your computer and you will listen you will hear a sound very soon you open it you hear say DD two sounds that means that means the software already connected to the card reader so choose enemy so after you install it and the first time you log in the software no need to set any password just uh, click OK you can go inside the software but you can also set up your own password look at here modify your password just uh, click it type your current password no password okay type okay and type a new password let's type one four seven two five eight one four seven two five eight now change it successfully and let's type Not, now it's already logging so let's introduce the software reception so you have for example you have uh, 20 rooms you, you can you can set 20 room here and uh, the building management for example you have a list of buildings for example you have a very big hotel you have two buildings okay you can just uh, insert a new building okay and also you can insert the room remove move uh, room and uh, modify room let's return dialog configuration okay system card room number setting card you know this card I talk to you later card, card key for staffs and look at his and also system permanent management this is what we are talking about now okay so you need to register software first if you don't register you can't use it remember this software can be used if you don't register it look at this system register and get the device number and tell to vendor that's why I ask you to connect uh, the uh, program the card reader in the computer first so every when you get the lock you will get a card reader and look at the bo the bottom the back side of the card reader you may you must see this okay device number same to this serious number we will print stick the serious number and stick it on the bottom of the card reader and now let's see the card reader and one more thing this card reader can only be used one time so now you input the card reader uh, you input the series number next time when you you know when you change the computer and you need you need to uh, install the software again this series number can be used okay now let's see this is a new series number let's see 
0244242 4C22887127BD Okay, register. Register successfully. So let's return to main. Now let's do the job. So now we need to change the the whole the building name first. You can modify building name. For example, uh, Spring Hotel, just a Spring Hotel. And now you can, you know, just uh, you can change the room information here. The one zero one. You can double click to change room one zero two. One zero three are oh, okay, right? And type can be standard luxury. And anything, just a double click. And also you can insert room. Specify the floor number between zero to ninety eight. So there are three floor. Okay, one, two, three. And uh, guest room number. And for example, each floor is zero zero uh ten room one zero one two three ten zero the one zero three okay so let's touch okay luxury and specify guest room rate one hundred fifteen uh, one day now rest uh, start uh, means for example in the daytime there are you know not many guests so you rent the whole the room out uh, uh, by number, mm, for example, five number, two number, but uh, it will cost the guest one hundred max uh, minimum. For example, they stay one number, they will you will they need to pay one hundred. So now we're at fifteen. So this you don't care how much time you stay, but they must pay one hundred. This is the minimum cost. And specify the car number. This means how many cards you can issue for one room. For example, there's a room, there are um, three beds in one room, but there are six people come to sleep. And they want six cards. But if you set five, then it means you can only issue five cards for one room. You can issue six. If you set 10 cards, that means you can see issue 10 cards for one room in the same time. Let's see. So all room is is finished. Let's change it to 101. Look, look. All is ready. So you can double click to change the, you know, the type and change the price, everything. Let's return to main. And let's see the reception. So now you can see. You can issue cards. People ask me how the lock recognizes the cards issued by the software. So look carefully. I prepared two cards, card one, card two. And this lock is for the room 101. You can you have 10 rooms 102, 103. Same, all same. So first, this card, put a card reader and look at the room 101. And I issue a card, just issue a card. No need to set up time, no need to input anything, just issue a card. Okay, success. This is a card for the guest card for the room 101. Second card here. And you return. Return, door lock configuration, and system card. Card holder name. So now, this card for the room, this is a system card, this is a guest card for the room 101. Same, if you have many rooms, okay, this is room for the room 102, 103, it's okay, you have many rooms. So first, you need to brush this card three times. Second, brush this card two, one time. So if you have two locks, that you brush this card, this card, no, no need change. Brush it three times and brush the second uh, guest card one time. And for the third door, brush the system card three times and brush the guest card for the room 103. Same. So now let's see. System card. 
one time, two time, three time. So now this lock is set up. Walking means they are unbooked individual customer. You choose walking and you choose the room. For example, room 101. New checking cover cards before. This means um, the previous guest the check out without uh, the guest card. But this guest card, they are still one lead. They can still unlock the door for the room 101. So when the new guest coming, you issue a new card for this new guest and you choose this option so the new guest card when the new guest card become one lead in the meantime the previous guest card will become invalid this is what what it means of this option so never read room you understand me so in the daytime you rent it by hour so the days you can stay two days three days Details means you input your name for in home of Frank and the sex is male and the uh, ID type anything all the information and you issue card so this card issued successfully group re reception group check in so there's a group you can choose which room is wanted. You can double click, you can use the arrow to choose. And also you can you know for the room one zero two check in and you check in the team leader and this option and how many days you stay. And VIP customer means this customer can check out and to forty PM non VIP. This NO means normally open. This means if you have this option, you issue the card and this card has the NO. So after you brush this card on this door log, this door log will keep in the status of unlocked. So anyone can unlock it without brushing the card. So do choose it. So an issue card. And let's close. Group browser, you can see how many groups you have. Reservation, make a reservation and you choose which day you come. For example, this Friday and you will stay three days. You search which room is wanted. Wanted, this room are wanted and you make a reservation. And you need to input the, the information of your team leader. So for example, Frank, you know, same, same to others. And you just make a reservation and after you look re reservation check in when you when that day this Friday coming you just uh, issue card you check in and also you can cancel reservation here room change you want to change from the room 101 to another room for example 102 and you will issue card so this room is changed and also postpone, you want to stay another three more days. You check in, you use your card. And to check out without card, so you check out the room 102 without card. And the card, you can put the card on the card reader and you can read it. So you can see card information. Card erase, it means you can clear information of this card. Let's confirm. And now let's read the card. So this card becomes blank card. Let's return. Card key for stuffs. Floor card means this card can unlock all the room of this floor. For example, Jessica. Building name. You need to choose the building. If you have many building, you need to choose the building name. You are the first floor. So override the previous floor card. If you already issued many floor cards, you can choose this. Unlock public door, unlock deadbolt lock. Means somewhere inside the room, you can still unlock it. Issue card. So now this card can unlock the floor one.
same flow to flow three you can easily count building cast same you can unlock all the room of this building master cast you can unlock all the room of this hotel any building any floor any room emergency card only used for emergency is same to the master card unlock any kind of group card means for example you have uh, uh, in the same floor you set up two building a uh, two group the first group is for the cleaner one the second group is for the cleaner two the the, the group card for the for the group one can only unlock this group the card for the group two can only unlock the second group this three card no no need so system permanent management you can change the hotel name here <coughs> check out to one can schedule check out to clean schedule so you can set out the room for example the guest check out it will the, the room will become to cleaning room but normally it will change to one can schedule so the cleaner will go into the room to clean the room and the guest card can unlock the door with dead bolt is locked. That means for inside there's a room you can unlock the door and the, the dead bolt is in you can unlock it with a card. Pass of dead base backup. This is very important. You need to know where it is. Why? Because sometimes you change your computer to a new computer and you reinstall your operating system so you need to copy this database and put it back because if you don't put it back you need to you know you need to set up all the software again check out time che uh, VIP check out time you can set it okay here list of operators L you can end uh, operator you can remove operator and the new operator just manager Frank, uh, boss. Let's general manage the G. So now I end a new operator. Where you can see it? Look and get a code manager. Because I didn't uh, set up password, I just touch OK. I can enter in.